do people assume that you're Harley all the time? Like, do they, they want you to be on and they, they just assume that you're going to get into that character. Um, I mean, I Even get when that I'm like this you when, when you're, yeah, you're like this, but yeah. you know, people want you to be funny all the time or they want, and I say, I'm not getting paid. Yeah, I'm not, you well, know, like I'm, grandpa used to say, yeah. don't do something for free that you normally get paid for. Uh, I try to be lighthearted. Well, sure. I mean, but you're not going to do your act. When no. You're just, uh, I mean, I've, I've always been the one that walks up and says, Hey, did you hear the one about, mm-hmm. you know, or a new joke that I've heard that I can't tell on a Branson stage. <laughs> but, uh, no, I that, I know who Perry is. It's very broad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that you, that could be almost anything. It could. <laughs> it could even be some of the jokes I tell on stage. <laughs> but I uh, no, I'm I try not to take life too serious. I, right. I think people have cried enough. It's time to yeah. laugh. And aren't we lucky that soon we'll be able to bring back all of the uh, all of the Clinton and Bush jokes? They all Goodness come around. Sakes. They keep throwing those people at us. I know. Isn't there somebody different? You know. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, but but at least for comedians, it's great. Yeah. Uh, you can just recycle all the jokes. Well, KFC has brought back the Hillary bucket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the two small breasts, two big thighs, and two left wings. Oh, there yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Now, you after... have to take one of those things out of the the menu and on stage. <laughs> <laughs> The wing, the left yeah, wings. The wings, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't like the left wings here. <laughs> I, I actually do a lot of jokes about that where I say, yeah, Branson, I got to be careful. Branson's a little conservative. Mm-hmm. You know, even when you drive in, my car always veers off to the right. You know, that sort of thing. Sure. Uh, but um, uh, after your shows, do you meet the crowd after the show? Oh, sure. Yeah, you go out. And I'm sure, just like me, you, you get people that say, have you heard this one? And they right. want to share jokes. And I'm doing a survey with comedians. I would say eight out of ten times, okay, which that's like 30%. Yeah, it's uh, almost half. Almost. Yeah. Um, there's no way I could do that joke exactly. on stage. Yeah. Yet, yet we have to be so careful what we say sure. as a comedian in, in Branson, but what they tell us after the show, I'm thinking, I wouldn't even say that joke right. anywhere. Yep. You get that a lot. A mm-hmm. lot, just like you. Yeah. 30%, eight out of ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or as I say, five out of three people can't even do fractions. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, Did you uh, know three out of four people make up 75% of the population? Really? Exactly. Wow. And statistics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky because two-thirds of our audience get about 82% of my jokes about half the time. So, <laughs> we can do this all night if yeah. you want. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lawn to mow. <laughs> you do. <Yeah. laughs> this is Branson. The grass is going to die in a few weeks. Anyway, yeah, well, so. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Uh, is it your lawn? Or are you just mowing somebody else's lawn? It's, you just go and mow people's yeah. lawns in your Harley? It's one of my lawns. Yeah. I got a house for sale in the house I live in. So. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So you're divorced. <laughs> yeah. Once or twice. <laughs> yeah. I've given away many hands. No, I'm married. I found yeah. just the right woman that needed to become a citizen. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Got a green card and everything. Yeah, those Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch them trying to <laughs> help care. Exactly. Uh, uh, so, um, so you said, I'm confused. You said you were a musician, but then right. you said you were a drummer. Which right. one was it? Yeah. Um, well, I owned a guitar too. Oh yeah, just, yeah. Just to gain some respect as a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> but in your family, were they, were they entertaining at all? Were they entertainers? Were they none? None? Nope. Nothing? Nope. Dad was a veterinarian, and my mother. Oh, worked we love at, our vets and yes. We do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We always had meat on the table, <laughs> <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> always putting out. something down, you know. <laughs> Mom worked at a newspaper office. And, mm-hmm. but we I, used to have those. I remember newspapers. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I uh, saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan. Yeah. And I looked at Ringo, and I thought, if he can make a living doing seriously. that, how hard did, can it be? Uh, seriously. So uh, that was my aspiration, was to be one of the Beatles. And uh-huh. It didn't work out. No? No. You could probably do that here in town now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. but uh, I'm sure. One of the old Beatles. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, I mean, they're all... Yeah, they're yeah. getting up there, the ones we got left. But. That, that would be funny, because the, there was a song that was out, I want to move like Jagger, move like Mick Jagger. It was a line in a song I kept huh. hearing, I want to move like Jagger. And I kept thinking, you really want to move like Jagger now? Because it's like 70s. Gotta be. I would come out with a walker and yeah. have that song playing, but that would that'd be interesting. But then when I was, I was in bands, you know, in school and uh-huh. after graduation and... 
always played and sang. And uh, when I was in Osage Beach, uh, one night the uh, comedian on that show, he and his wife had a big fight and he left town. Oh. Middle of the night. So the next day, the band leader called me and he said, uh, Chuck isn't in town. No, he heard you coughing under the bed. I guess so. (laughs) And uh, he said, you're more familiar with the routines than anybody else is. Could you be the comedian tonight? So I didn't want to let the show down. Mm -hmm. So I attempted comedy. (laughs) And uh, there were 10 weeks left of the season. And the party that owned the theater said we could finish out the our brochure right and so uh got to the end of the season and my phone rang twice that winter to be a comedian on another show oh wow nobody called me to ask me to sing again <laughs> <laughs> so i thought well i might as well i i've been handed lemons <laughs> yeah perry could you not sing it sounds yeah. like a whale being tortured <laughs> <laughs> yeah dying rabbit <laughs> So uh, I thought, well, I might as well work harder at being a better comedian. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd rather be a comedian with a job than a singer looking for one. Right. And so that was what I... There you go. That happens a lot, it. actually, uh, because my background is doing magic, and I got a comedy club gig. It was the same thing. Can you mm-hmm. MC? Our MC's out. Could you mm-hmm. do the emceeing? Fine. That went well. We'd like to feature you one night. We have a big name coming into town. Well, it snowed, and he couldn't make it. Uh. Uh, but we still had the crowd there, and they said, we'd like you to be the headliner. So I go from being open mic night to headliner in about a week and a half. And Good all night. the other comedians hated me oh. because they had worked so long. But it was interesting. Like yeah. You'd be surprised. We were talking about that before we started, how sometimes we get jobs just because people have other obligations. or You never know what's right. going to happen. You can work really hard at something and... You know? Yeah. And yeah. I worked really hard at being a drag racer, but I couldn't wear the heels. It was Is just that very... right? No, I'm kidding. I, I, <laughs> I could. They were fine. Yeah. <laughs> Got used to it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there was a comedian in town that uh, kept turning down work, and he'd tell him to call me. I had a great year that year. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Who does that? <laughs> yeah. I say that all the time. I, I the, People will call me, and so-and-so isn't interested in doing this. Would you? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Right. Are you paying me? Yes. Or I say that all the time when I'm at a gig. What do you think of the uh, music here and there? And I say, am I still getting my paycheck? Yeah. It was great. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> right. 